Uh, are there during the the five years you had with the company? Are there moments where you, you, it's like, oh, this is a big challenge that we we're seeing, or this is like when we grow from this size to this size, like. What are some of those like you know? I call that a you know, holy smoke moment, right? Like, oh my goodness, man! Like we're growing, but this is a big problem. Like, and how did you overcome those problems? Yeah, I think, I think the you know the, those moments happen all the time. I think <laughs> it's 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 like you know when when we talk to our product teams, I usually like to say that. The, the day you come to me and say there are no problems to solve, I kind of don't really need you anymore, yeah, right? Yeah. Then because, we got a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that's, that's the big problem. Until, yeah. you, until you see what else we can do and how we can improve the product, mm. that's, um, that's a right problem to have in a way. Nice. Uh, but I think, you know, like, like any company that is going through, through growth and changes, I think it's, uh, you know, Hard things are maintaining culture as you scale organization, yeah. especially when you have more and more people who join the company who, let's say, never had the same experience working with founders day to day. Yeah, that's um, that's a big kind of challenge for every organization that is going through kind of growing um, phase. Mm. And then also like changing structure and adopting it to kind of new scale also always um what well, i wouldn't what, say what, what, yeah, yeah. But what, what do you guys do now with 950 people uh, i assume a lot of them working remote some may be in the office but like how do you like it's one thing to have a team of 100 it's a whole other thing to have a team of almost a thousand like how do you have everybody engaged like what are, what are some of the things that you guys do maybe tools maybe uh just even rituals, right? Habits uh, to have the, pe the the team, the people engaged. So yeah, we we from from the very beginning we had um, kind of culture where we encourage people to take a lot of responsibility and ownership, okay. and in return, uh, we would give them a lot of freedom to make their kind of own choices. Autonomy. So yeah. in a way, we have. Um, very decentralized organization okay. where where people can work autonomously. So for us, switching from in office environment yeah. to, to remote yeah. remote remote re environment was not that hard. Okay. Um, I would say the biggest challenge in switching is um, emotional. Like mm. a lot of people just like to be with other people in the yeah. in the same room. Again, maybe maybe not necessarily every day. Mm -hmm. But I think you start appreciating your colleagues only when you yeah, have to true. spend that that much time without opportunity to talk to them and meet them in person. Yeah. So so that was I think more of a challenge. But also I think in many offices uh, we uh, we already can allow people to return if they want. We still provide an option to work remotely if it works better for them. Yeah. But. I think it's um, it's already you know much better. And as I said, we we were set up in the right way where people can work autonomously, um, and and they don't the require like ever like like daily supervision. Really. <laughs> yes, yes. 